Good morning. This is Paul Palmer. We have a new month today. So it's time to plan. Why would you want to plan a new month? Well, we work in cycles. We work in chunks. Today is a new month. So you think about it as a month and what can you achieve in that month? The human brain is an interesting thing. It doesn't work in, in massive overall um, goals or objectives for the whole of what you're doing for everything. You need to make sure you chunk it down because otherwise you find that you're getting to overwhelm. Now, this is the same when you're running your pharmaceutical company. You can't do the whole everything. If you're thinking about how you're going to achieve the regulatory compliance that we talked about yesterday within your whole organization, well, you'll get overwhelmed and you realize it's not something that you can achieve in one foul slope swoop. It's not, it's not, it's not achieve, it's not um, comprehensible. It doesn't easily fit into a single um, intention. So if you want to plan to achieve regulatory compliance, you do need to look at the overall and map it out. But then you need to look at the individual areas within the map and break it down. So for example, an, an easy way to, break, to, to map out the process is to map out the business process, the fulfillment process. And then you link off different things from that. And within the fulfillment process, do a top level first, but then chunk it down. And it's not just pharmaceuticals. I've done this with other businesses as well. So I did it, for example, with a, a um, credit card personalization center that did um, phone cards and, and other activities as well. I think I've mentioned them before. But how I achieved the result of a full quality management system in just a few months is I looked at the overall and broke it down and did the sections. They needed specs. Without a spec, how can you do anything? They needed agreements. They didn't really need loads, but they needed some agreements so that the supplier assurance was not necessarily qualified, but at least managed. Now, another example uh, I did was a um, service company. I'm not sure what to call them, but they were providing the um video content i wasn't necessarily films it could be documentaries but by implementing a quality management system for them i didn't call it a quality management system because that was beyond their reach um they didn't need the uh complexity of thinking of it as a qms what they needed was their business to be in control and to be managed and to flow and to have step-by-step -step processes where the team worked together. And that was core for that particular business. They, I, we went from procurement of, of mm, identification really, I suppose, of the content, procurement, licensing, agreements. But then once they had the agreements, then it was sales time, sales and marketing. But in between, in parallel to sales and marketing, you had conversion because you needed to get the formatting right and the structure of the content and how it's going to be provided, whether you're going to provide it with or without subtitles and a whole bunch of other things as well. So there were parallel activities, but the way that we drew it out was a flow. How is the business fulfillment? We started top level. We broke it down into chunks that were manageable chunks and that could be written up. And we did, we, we did call them standard operating procedures and one link to the next, to the next, to the next. And we knew who was responsible for each activity. But then we had some dis disputes between the team. Oh, well, when we do this, we have to do this. But somebody else said, oh no, you don't do that, you do this. So it was resolved at a higher level. Actually, they were allowed to do more than they realized. And the, the approval process that they were expecting to have to use wasn't required. And what happened to the business with this system in place? 
they doubled their revenue within a year. And why is that? Well, because they knew what they were doing. They eliminated many of the delays that they'd had the previous year. They brought in the content. Actually, they brought in more content because the people that didn't realize they were allowed to sign it up started signing up new content, which they didn't have to pay for until they actually got some revenue from it. It was a licensing agreement, a licensing model. So you got the license for the content. You make sure that you're doing the um, conversion and structuring the way that it needed to be to go to different markets and license it out. And another thing, they, they found out that certain people, they were authorized to do certain transactions for sales as well. So long as they tied together and they understood and they had their actual um, activities written down and it was clear the line of responsibility, who should do what, within a year, imagine doubling your revenue. And I'm not talking £100 to £200. I'm talking 380000 to 800000 in one year without, without um, struggling with cash flow, without the business going close to bankruptcy, without the business losing control. And that's the important thing. The areas that they were having difficulties with, subcontracted. Okay, it reduced slightly the profit margin by a couple of percent. But when you're at almost 50%, a couple of percent is worth it if it means you improve efficiency so much that you can then achieve massive growth. But this is the same for any business. Look at how your systems work. Plan the processes, plan how you're going to deliver the business um, goals. And then you'll make more, you'll become more efficient and you'll get more out of it. Now, whether that needs to subcontract some of it or whether it means that you do more of it yourself and some of it doesn't even happen. Well, you'll have to decide that when you look at your business. But planning is key. You plan which bits you're going to do, go for top level, plan where you're going to do a business process, a, a map where you have to go deeper, where you have to do an SLP, where it's a work instruction, where a form will do. But don't do it all straight up from the beginning. Start at the top level. Dig down in each area and deliver. That's it for me for today. It's Paul Palmer. And if you do need any help with your process mapping, let me know. Talk to you soon.